Hey folks, welcome back. We're going on a mad rush. Emily's gone to her dad's. I've got Lily here, as you can see, and Olivia in the back. And we're heading to Pembrokeshire because a load of rare stuff's turned up. Um, there's a couple of turned up on islands we can't get to because the boats are full. But there's a Magnolia Warbler, which is a really rare American Mega that's worth a look if we can get it. <laughs> and there's a few other good things, potentially Rhineck, which is a bird we've been looking for for a while. And maybe Melodious Warbler, which should be cool if we find. So keep with us. Fresh? It should be, a, should be a good trip. And we're in a big rush. It was about a four hour drive to Pembrokeshire. When we got there, we put our heads down in a B&B. Good morning all, it's about half past seven in the morning, we're in Pembrokeshire, I'm down at Pembroke Dock, I believe Cody's up trying to get the girls ready, it's a bit of a long night, um, it's a hopeful day, um, earlier on I did a little intro video like this and the Magnolia Warbler after had not been seen, so I've scrapped that because it's now been seen. So I'm keeping my fingers tightly crossed and hope we get it before it goes. It's actually quite a nice day, which makes a change from yesterday where it was hammering it down. So stick with our adventure and hopefully we'll get a mega and maybe some other cool birds as well. Let's do it. It was a lovely morning. There was a storm apparently on the way in the afternoon. So we headed out towards the Magnolia Warbler. Folks, uh... I can't remember the name of the places where we're at. It's very bright. And it's very bright. But um, we're here to find a Magnolia Warbler, which is an absolute mega from America. The girls have stayed in the van. You um, really think they were going to come, did you? No. So we're going to hopefully go and get ourselves a mega. When we arrived at St. Govan's Head, there were plenty of other birders there. We stood with the other birders and scanned through the bushes, seeing some more common species, like this lovely robin singing on the top of this berry bush. Moving a little further around some of the vegetation, there were plenty of blue tits and goldfinches like this one. Every bit of movement in the dense vegetation was investigated, often turning out to be blue tits, goldfinches and birds like this wren. Having stuck around for a couple of hours at this point and only seen brief glimpses, but we were super happy to see it. It was a shame I couldn't get you any footage. Hey folks, uh, at the Magnolia Warbler spot, we have seen it. Kelly's gone back to the van to make the girls some food. Uh, we've had a couple of very, very brief but reasonable views. Uh, enough to tick it off as a lifer. And a mega. But I don't have any footage because I wasn't nearly quick enough with the camera at all so i apologize you'll have to do with this um bird guides render that i'm going to put up now and uh we're going to try and move on to something else although my battery has run out of my camera so i hope i can charge it in the van stick with us where are we going hello after our quite long um session at the magnolia warbler where we saw it which is a life on a mega but unfortunately we didn't get any footage at all, photos or videos. We've headed... It was uh, a hard twin. It was a very hard it twin. It was a hard twin. We are now heading to another twin that could be equally as difficult, a Canada warbler that's turned up today, um, about 20 minutes just down the road from where we were. So we're going to head there, have a look at that. If we can find it, I'm not going to put too much time in it because there's a couple of other birds, or at least another bird that I want to see before we go home. So stick with us, wish us luck and trying to get at least a little bit of footage of this bird. Um, see you shortly. Hey folks, we're at the Canada Warbler. Um, it is so horrendously busy. Um, I've just spent, yeah. Nightmare. Just spent 10 minutes trying to get our van down a lane and then turn it round to send, take it the other way. Sometimes having a car works out a bit easier. Crikey, Riley. Um, so we're heading back to where it's been seen. I'm not holding out masses of hope. Um, there's a lot of people and they're looking basically through a bush. In a bush. So, oh, crikey. Uh, yeah, we may be onto something. A little less magra after this. Yeah, keep with us though, eh? Where the Canada Warbler had been seen, there were so many people. Dozens deep. 
which made a sighting almost impossible. Hey folks, at the Canada Warbler, we haven't seen it. It's, I'd say it's one of the negative points sometimes of birding. We've just turned up and there's a very small area which the bird has been seen and it's packed, and I mean seriously packed, full of people. There's a car coming behind me. We had a few other birds to see in the direction of home. Where are we going? Hey folks. Um, after a bit of a mixed morning with one mega and one bird that I don't think we were going to see, um, we're heading again on the warbler uh, quest, this time for a European one, a melodious warbler. This is a bird neither of us has seen before, so again a lifer, um, which has apparently been in and out of bushes at the back of a car park about half an hour away from where we are. So stick with us, see if we find that little one. En route to the Melodious Warbler we saw some other birders, so we stopped to find out what they were looking at. Apparently someone had seen a lass of yellow legs, so we decided to take a look, leaving the girls to play on the beach. We took a short walk over a sandy ridge looking over some water, seeing quite a few birds like these little grebe. And on the beach at the other side there was lots of other birds, loads of gulls and corvids and waders. There was no sign of the yellow legs, although there was this godwit. I haven't said black or bar-tailed because I always get it wrong, but someone please feel free to comment. There were plenty of red shank, there was this rock pipit that didn't want me to get any footage of it, and this absolutely gorgeous wheatier. This species is distributed throughout the entire of the Northern Hemisphere, through Siberia, Europe, Asia, America. Every single one of these birds migrates to Africa, which makes for some seriously long migrations. It was now time to move a few minutes away down the coast to where the melodious warbler had been seen. It had been spotted in some bushes behind a car park. There were a few people there, but the wind had really picked up, so there were no birds present. Everything must have been hunkered down. This left one small trip before heading home. Hey folks, um, by St Justinian's uh, lifeboat station. Um, earlier on there was a right here apparently first thing this morning so we decided on the way back home to see if we could find it uh, we're not going to it's blown an absolute gale and it started raining um, bit of a disappointing day really it started off okay with the uh, magnolia warbler we did see it on the, although we didn't get any footage of it and then pretty much every bird we tried to get from there we haven't so unfortunately this is the way birding goes sometimes um, I wasn't sure whether to even put this video on but um it's real birding isn't it see you next time thanks for watching please like please subscribe and please press the notification bell Toodaloo.